Hey guitars, let's go build some junk. Alright, this is not going to look all that graceful. Because <laughs> it won't be, but you know, hopefully we won't just totally destroy everything. Um, I want to try to clean off the majority of this. And then we'll cut our shape. So I'm going to actually start shaping this thing all together. Like I said, it's not going to be necessarily all that pretty, but... Um, just, you know, try not to ruin everything. Nicely done, young man. Why, thank you. Okay, so, I fucked up. <laughs> it, it really wasn't, I didn't think it was that bad. I was going to just, you know, go with it. But the more I look at it, the more I, I'm not happy. So, we're going to fix it. What happened was, the what had happened was, uh, we, I had my pieces in, in, in place and drew out where I wanted to, you know, headstock the land, and then we cut the slopes, glued them on, and uh, then I went over to the bandsaw, and I cut out what was drawn, and it was, it had, we weren't in the same place, so, <laughs> um, for one thing, this ear is shifted that way more than I want, uh, it's just too much slope there, so, if I had just taken the time to look at it, redraw it and then go cut it everything would have been great we didn't do that so now we're left with this sloppy mess and i i just i don't like it so we're gonna shave those back off get that cleaned up and put some new ears on um so i've been in the process of building some new ears out of some leftover material uh, and I kind of like the way this was lining up, so I, we're going to stick with the same scheme. So I'm kind of rebuilding um, uh, the way the uh, uh, the neck blank was, so we can make it look like it never even happened. I'm not excited about this, but it kind of has to be done. actually plan it out this time and glue them up right. Ears redo. Okay, um, I clamped my head template in place. I'd, a little earlier, um, I was looking at with the fretboard still in place, looking at how we wanted to line up. Since we are offset, this slope is going to look a little weird anyway. Um, 
and I moved back just a little tiny bit from there so we're gonna mm. because of where that nut is I mean that end of the nut we may have to shift down just a little bit to make sure that we clear that but I don't want this one to be crazy crazy so Anyway, everything put in place, I've uh, redrawn, so we can at least cut the slopes here, and then get these guys glued on, this time hopefully in the right place. So, <laughs> So let's do that. Just a little bit because, yeah, about right there. So, am I sure? I think I'm sure. Ish. For sure, ish. Fiddly pain in the ass. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I had a different color pencil so I could indicate. No, no, this one. This is the real one. This, this is the one I meant. I guess once we actually have them on there, then uh, we can clean up the face, redraw it, and then be ready to cut without just charging off to the bandsaw and ruining a day's worth of work and a bunch of sexy wood. Yeah, so. Yeah, here we go. Now, while this is drying, I'm going to work on a template for uh, the possibility of hopefully getting to where we can uh, uh, template uh, the routing of my bone. <laughs> yeah. Well, I cheated you guys a little bit. Um, pulled the clamps off and I just planed just a little bit to make sure we have a nice flat surface. And then... I looked at, I redrew our center line, and I looked at mostly where the slope is going to come off of the nut, because it needs to be behind the nut, really. So that kind of dictates this slope as well. Um, and it's bigger than I want, really, but I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid that, unless we offset it. And I don't want to do that. I like symmetrical ears specifically so it'll hang so I think 
this is our shape now, finally. <laughs> so we can start working it. There's really no reason to hold off at this point. However, we do want to try to draw my holes. Real quicky like. Just, you know, so we at least have a vague idea where the hell they're going to be. That one's going to be hard to see. Right, those look fairly reasonable. We may have good placement. We'll calculate that before we ever drill anything, but uh, it's good to have a vague idea. Once more into the breach, dear friends. <sighs> Maybe it's not that dramatic. rough shape up to the line um, that will get um, cleaned up some later because uh, we don't know exactly where the edge really is until we get tuners actually placed and once they're perfectly placed then we'll know how far away uh, we need the edge to be uh, if I remember right about a half inch five eighths at the most is usually a relatively safe distance anyway figure that out after a while. First, I draw my little shape. I tend to do that offset even before I started doing an asymmetrical carve. Uh, it just seems to be more comfortable. Uh, but the facet I have here, I want to draw that all the way out until we hit my line. On both sides. And then... I think it's an intimidating thing for some people, but there's really not that much to it. Nice if the wing aid wouldn't have chipped out, but that's gonna get softened up anyway. So now we 
should be done shaping the top of the head, well, the majority of the head. So we should be safe to uh, do the fretboard now. This isn't necessary, this is just OCD driven. I love the shape of this tool. That's what she said. This always looks scary because we didn't quite get down as deep as the uh, the ears are, but sometime later when we get the cap on, this is going to get thickness down quite a bit, and it'll be enough that that will all disappear. Anyway, next steps. Thanks for swinging by. Uh, it means the world to me that people actually watch and find some value in, in my goofy shenanigans. Uh, if you're one of those people, then do me a favor and like the video and uh, subscribe so you can catch the, you know, future junk coming up. So we always got stuff to do. So meet me back here next time.